Okay, so you got your um, bulkhead glued in on one side. It'll turn kind of white and frosty when that glue cures the vapor, when the solvent cures the vapor. Does it? it doesn't matter. That's all going to be covered by the, the, the end cap when you're done. Um, one thing I did want to mention, the tube length is 15 and 3 quarters inches. That length isn't critical. I mean, plus or minus an eighth would be fine. But what is critical that the outer tube is as close as you can get to the same length as that. I you guys I think are both experienced woodworkers, so you know you can put a end stop on a chop saw and then you just slide everything against there and it'll all be very repeatable in length. So get your get your 15 and 3 quarters within a your eighth and as far as close you want to get it, then slide the rest of them against the end stop and they'll all be exactly the same. Or on a table saw, uh, you can use the um, rip rail, I forgot what you call it anyway, slide it up against that and your, your cross cut on the inside of it and get them all the same length as that. So critical of the outside tube is the same length as the inside tube. Not so critical that's exactly 15 and 3 quarters. Um, anyway, so you got your end one you want to put in here. Uh, you can check and make sure you can get slides in easily. That's because you've got the, you know, the taper facing the right direction. The, uh, the thread inserts will be on the outside, of course. So you just put this guy on here and should have used a table to do this to make sure it's right. But anyway, put it on like so, and then twist it both ways a little bit. And that way you'll get it the way they have the, both same, the same amount of play on both sides will be centered. And then you're done. I would, I would, if I'd done that now, I would go down and put it on a table flat. They get exactly flush, which it wasn't. Since I didn't do it right with, with the flush the first time, I'll go back and do it again. Check it, yes, it's flush. And now I just go in and put my solvent in the, in the inside of that, roll it around, and, and I'm done.